Hey everybody, and this is Jason Akers, Green Acres Pest Control. This is your last Myth May episode. You guys have, have been really great. The uh, overall, well, uh, just overwhelming response to Myth May has been just wonderful. I appreciate everybody watching my videos, tuning in and checking me out. Uh, hopefully that I can continue to uh, educate you guys and and help everybody with their pest control problems. That's enough about that. Oh, well, share me if you like a video or whatever, but uh, let's get on with the myth. Dryer sheets will keep bugs away. That's the myth. There are people who, when I go into homes, they will have problems with roaches or spiders or ants, and they would have taken dryer sheets and they will close them up in window uh, window windows like around the window frame, and they will put them uh, in their between their uh, mattress and their box spring to keep bed bugs off of them. And what a lot of people will say on these you know websites where you go and you read about dryer sheets is <coughs> because dryer sheets are so toxic. Ooh. They'll keep bugs away from you, uh, too. And if the bugs won't crawl over them, then do you really want to put them in your laundry? Woo. You know, they, that's, that's just the way it seems to be with this whole scare tactic of don't use dryer sheets. Uh, let your clothes stick to your body, get your static clean and everything, and your hair, if you got long hair sticking out to like here, like a Bob Ross afro. Uh, but here's the thing. I'm not talking about the toxicity of dryer sheets. I'm going to explain to you something. Bugs don't care about dryer sheets. Bugs don't care about what's in dryer sheets. I went into a home where a woman had been using dryer sheets as pest control. And I went into her laundry room. Now, she had a problem with German cockroaches. German cockroaches are attracted to water sources like washing machines, uh, water heaters, bathtubs, sinks, drains. Uh, they love like a glass of water sitting beside a bed table. They, they'll start living on your bedside table if you drink a glass of water every night. They, they like water. So I went into the woman's laundry room, which is a common place to find German cockroaches. And I was treating around the washing machine and there's a little door there for her hot water heater. So I opened the door, and, and when I did, there was a, like a little shelf right above the door, and there was a box of dryer sheets on the shelf that fell in the floor because the door hit the shelf. So whoever installed the shelf was kind of like these right here, and the, the metal kind of went up above the door, and it hit it, and the dryer sheet fell off, and uh, the box of dryer sheets. <coughs> and what was living in the box of dryer sheets? But a whole handful of cockroaches come crawling out everywhere. Um... Bugs don't care about soft clothing or you know, whatever. They, uh, they will live in and around dryer sheets. Now, there may be a little bit of a coincidence if you take and you close your dryer sheets up in your windows, like around your kitchen and, uh, you know, behind your ki kitchen sink. Maybe there's a window there and you put some dryer sheets there to keep the ants from coming into your sink. But maybe it just created just that little bit of a last bit of seal around your window to keep the ants out. I don't know. But ants crawl on dryer sheets. I have found ants crawling over dryer sheets before where people will put those things in. They'll put dryer sheets and they'll soak them in things like uh, essential oils like peppermint oil and cinnamon oil and stuff like that. It doesn't work. Bugs will still crawl over your dryer sheets. So hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed Myth May. I uh, not sure what I'm gonna do next. Uh, you leave a leave a comment below if you're uh, wondering if you got any questions at all, or if I haven't answered a myth that I should have answered. I was thinking I might do a myth every Tuesday, maybe call it like Tidbit Tuesday or something like that. I like to use the same letter as the first and the last of the word. But anyway, uh, just little things here and there that I enjoy on Tuesdays, maybe. But uh, you guys have a real great day. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, and I'll be seeing you.